Now don't I? Why? Why did you change? Why? Why did it change? It went and changed to my Mac microphone. Why did it do that? Because last week when I went live, I went live on just my MacBook and that's what happened. So I should have checked with you guys sooner. I know you're like saying, hey, no, no, mute nation. I wasn't muted, unfortunately. I wish that would have been better. Unfortunately, I, uh, yeah, I'm not hearing any audio either. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> uh, nice visuals. You're in the zone. It's true. I was in the zone. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Yep. <laughs> ah, this is the second time this has happened to me in the time, all the times I've live streamed. Uh, yes. Thank you, Florence. And thank you. Thank you, Amy. Uh, hitting the like button. I thank you so much. I need more fitness in my life. Do you do tutorials? Uh, I think she does actually. So, and she's also a running fanatic. So yeah, I'm in the zone, but you couldn't hear me. Such great lighting setup day. I'm used to the morning car chats. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> I was trying. Yeah. All right. Keep up your keep your setup simple. Yes, that really does apply to so many different areas of life and content creation. Now thinking about getting better reading his lips. Yes, yes. So, well, anyway. All right, so just look at the slides. Uh, I, I'm sure this show was amazing if you'd heard it the first time. I was really excited. So, yeah. Uh, we have sound now? Yes, Houston, we have sound. All right. Do I get a do-over? Let's do a do-over. I was pretty excited about tonight's topic. Let's do a do-over. Let's that's Let's start over. All right. We're going to start over. I, I will I will go fast and furious and with sound. So, my goal tonight is to tell you about how to have a frictionless content creation scenario where you're ready to hit record or you're ready to go live nearly at a moment's notice. And how do you do that? Well, we talk about tips for frictionless content creation. You see... The issue is if it takes effort, if it's like metal against metal, if there's sparks flying when you try to put together your live stream or your recorded thing, then you're not going to do it. You will be turned away from it. You need a frictionless setup. And how do you accomplish that? I'm going to tell you. One, have your camera and lights always set up and ready to go. Seriously, get Mounts, I'll show you some mounts here in a minute. You see this mount right here? Uh, this is the exact mount I have. Uh, it's a uh, Uvalde. Um, I have lots of their stuff. I like their stuff. But I got my camera set up on there, and then it's it's ready to go. I turn it on. Now, Grant, you see a, I have a teleprompter on mine, so that's what you see on the front there. But you don't need a teleprompter. You don't have to have that. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Your lights, you see my light, my small rig light is set up. It's ready to go. This is my small rig light, and this is a newer light that had newer brand, 660. This is, but when I first started out, I had this newer ring light right here. You see this newer ring light? This is the exact light I had. I started out my channel and my live stream and my recording and tutorials with that newer ring light. And then I got the newer 660. I got two of those. My wife has one on her desk now. And then Christmas a year or two ago, I got the small rig. I really love the small rig. It's got the big uh, parabolic, um, yeah, soft box on the front of it. So it makes it easier. I have soft boxes on both of mine because otherwise you'll have hot spots. It'll look really bad. So you don't want hot spots, you know. And then, like I said right here, I got my camera mounted. It's ready to go. If you just keep your camera mounted and ready at all times, you can just turn it off. That's that because if you have to go and put your streaming or your recording setup together every single time, that's friction. You won't do it. You will be reluctant to do it. It will not be the happy fun time for you because you are focused. It's like, oh well, you know, I, it'll take me 25, 30 minutes to set up everything. It'll, you know, I, I don't have time for that. Or, uh, yeah, I, I could go live right now, but I've got to set up all this gear. And that slows you down. That stops you. That stops you from going live. 
in recording. And then have your microphone and your sound device tray. So I have a boom arm and I have my microphone connected to it. And I literally just push it out of the way when I don't need it. And then when I need it, I pull it out and I'm ready to go. I keep my Streamer X ready at all times. But this mic also works USB. And for a while, I did USB. And use the mode of software that comes with the MV7. Or if I had a Samsung QU, uh, QU2, uh, Q2U, you know, I would just plug it in USB and go with that. That makes it simple. You want it to be simple. You don't want complicated. You want simple. Next, if you have helper devices like a Stream Deck or, you know, if you got the Stream Deck app on your phone or your iPad, uh, you know, or have your buttons programmed and ready to go. So I keep a base configuration at all times on my Stream Deck so that at a moment's notice, if I go live, I can press buttons and get a show started. I can fix things in the mix if I have to, but it keeps it so much simpler. And workspace organization. So Florence, on her channel, Equip Institute, could tell you so much about being organized. I am not an organized person. I'm more of a chaotic person. But there is a method to my madness. And so I know where all my stuff is. Yes, to some people, it would look like madness for sure. But for me, I know exactly where things are. I've got a drawer with very specific cables. I have a thing about cables. I, I label my cables. I put my name on my cables. I say what they are. This is a Thunderbolt 4 cable. I'll put a label. It tells me it's a Thunderbolt 4 cable. This is a USB-C cable. I'll put labels on there to tell me that. Then I can reach in the drawer, grab a cable out at a moment's notice, XLR cable, grab it out at a moment's notice. That makes life easier if you need to grab something quick. I also have like a, uh, you know, I have a Logitech C920 that I can put on the service if I needed to. I also have a El uh, Elgato face cam. You don't have to have all of this, but I'm like, I won't, these are like from generations of where I've moved up in my content creation game and I thought I needed something better. But I can just go live with a cell phone. I don't need all this gear. You don't need all this gear. It's just nice to have. And then have your streaming software ready to go. Your streaming and recording software ready to go, whether it be Ecamm Live like I prefer, or vMix if you're on a PC, or StreamYard, uh, you know, any of those, get it all together and be ready to go. Let's go check on my friends and make sure I haven't uh, lost contact with myself here. Uh, <laughs> Uh. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely <laughs> definitely folks in the zone. We're all glad to be here. You got this. <laughs> I am so sorry I had to do a do-over. Thank you so much for everybody and your patience. Yes, I'll just trim the beginning off. So, uh, trophy. <laughs> hey, Dagan, how you doing? Yeah, you missed the part where I didn't have any sound. So, uh, kind of wild. Hey, welcome, kind of wild. Hi, how you doing? Uh, so it's like, hi, kind of wild. Have you been here before? Uh, welcome. Welcome to the community. This is a great bunch of folks. You will like these folks. So come hang out with us. Uh, BGG Grooming Reviews. Welcome to the live. Yeah. Kind of wild. Hey, welcome. Hey, Motif. How's it going? What is, what is new in your content creation journey? Yeah. I am a method to madness type as well. <laughs> My cables are not labeled. They are in specific storage drawers, however. Yes. And I do have a box of ancient cables. Legacy cable box. So when somebody says, hey, Roy, do you have a Thunderbolt 2 cable? I do. I don't need it, but I have it. So when somebody asks me for it, I'm ready. I just made a video before this live and now ready to post on YouTube for the morning. The members can watch it now. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm a member. I could go watch it now. Dang it, yep. Uh, I hear I was here for it. I was just listening or not listening, that is. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, it wasn't working because I my I, so I went live last week on my Mac mic and AirPods ultimately, and so it didn't pick up my mic because it was all back together now. I haven't I didn't get to go live Sunday because of work issue. <laughs> I have nothing but excuses. That day job thing gets in the way so many times. I don't know. So, 
keep it simple. The KISS principle. I always like to say, keep it simple, student. I, I know the S stands for something different, but I've never liked that because it's a good adage to keep it simple. Uh, but, I, but I'm saying, like, keep your setup simple. Keep it simple, student. In the chat, you guys tell me what an alternate... A nice alternate meaning for the last S would be, or what the I could be to make this work. But the point being is follow the KISS principle and keep it all simple so that you can do this. It doesn't have to be complicated. And then batch creation. So with batch creation, it's a process where you will make multiple videos at one time. So what I've done in the past when I've done batch creation, I will get like three shirts and I will hold up in my studio which also doubles as my work desk. So my work desk and my studio are the same desk. They just different computers and different monitors and stuff. So that's a that's a pro tip for you. Is that hey, I can go live anytime I want. Not during the work, of course. But so anyway, the point being though is that you can make three or four videos in a row, but you have to prayer prepare your topic. Either if you are a script kind of person, then Write your script for each one of your videos and then figure out your shot list and what that's going to look like. If you're like me and you go by bullet points to do your show, then you rehearse a little bit. So, okay, this bullet point's about this, and this bullet point's about that, this bullet point's about that. And then you make the video and then change shirts and you go make the next video, which hopefully you've already planned out the shot list for and you've already got your bullets or you got your script or you got your teleprompter ready. And then you do your third video, and, and even a fourth one if you've got time. And then you can go through the process of editing those videos one by one. And the cool thing about that is that by creating so many videos at one time, you can release, you can have videos scheduled out there so that you have breathing room. If you have, if you make just one video at a time, and then you edit that down and then you release it. And then you wait till the whole next week to make the next one. Then you are putting a burden on yourself because you're trying not to ever miss releasing a video. Why? Because cons a consistent schedule is key. Because I go live 9 p.m. every Tuesday night, a lot of these folks that are in the chat right now know, hey, Roy goes live at 9 p.m. Eastern time or 6 p.m. Pacific time, and so they don't miss watching. Thank you so much for those that come faithfully. I really do appreciate it. They don't miss it because, you know, hey, Roy's going live on Tuesday nights. And so I do everything I possibly can to go live on Tuesday nights. Now, last week I was traveling. I was with the family, and we were in Washington, D.C., and so I said, hey, um, I talked to the hotel and said, hey, I want to do a, a live stream. It won't take maybe an hour tops. You got like a room. I got, oh yeah, you got this room upstairs. So not not for you, not used for anything. So go in there, flip on the lights, get on the Wi-Fi. Admittedly, the Wi-Fi was not amazing, um, but I, it was enough. I got out there and I went live. And granted, it wasn't my best show ever, but it, I just wanted to see you guys and say hi and keep up my usual live cadence. Um, it's, it's important to me that I have shows that do share good content with you that, that's learning and teaching. And so last week was more of a Q and A and kind of a hangout and talking about the trip and everything. So it was a different show, but I enjoyed it and I had a good time hanging out with you guys. And so, yeah, the point being is that if you make it easy for you to just sit down and hit that record button, you'll do it. You can do it. You have no excuses. I literally can say, Ziggy, turn off Roy's desk. Ziggy, turn off Roy's desk. It's going to get dark. <laughs> Ziggy, turn on Roy's desk. And I'm ready. And I've got my mic here on a, on a boom arm. I've got my camera in a mount. I literally turn the camera on. 
I literally pulled the mic toward me. I throw on the headphones. I've been doing headphones lately. I know I should go back to the in ears like those too, but it's just been simpler this way lately. And then I go. I hit go. And believe it or not, when I'm working in my day job, I leave these lights on behind me too. So <laughs> they're on all the time. I just blur teams so people don't know what the heck's going on behind me. But You've got to make it easy on yourself. You've got to go, or else you will not create content. You will not create content if you do not make it easy for yourself. So, let's see what else everybody else is saying. Uh, uh, did you agree with? <laughs> keep, it, keep it simple, smart you. Yeah, there we go. Or how about smarty? How about that? Yeah, I like that. Yep. Keep it simple, smarty. Yeah, I like that. Yes, those barrier free opportunities stay creative. Boom. That you got to make it easy on yourself. I know a lot of my content creation friends, they have a setup similar whatever their equipment is, but they've got it set up where they're ready to go at a moment's notice. You know? And yeah. <laughs> That's black magic. Yes it is, but I mean I like automation. I like automation. So I just have my Alexa device set up, and I have smart outlets on them, and I say, "Hey, start up." And you know, I you know, of course, I played around with these lights to find the setting that I thought was best for me. I have, you know, one set to like 5400 lumens, uh, 5300 lumens. The other one is set to I think it's also at the 4200 lumens. And I find what works best. And the other part of that, to make it simple, is Test. Test stuff out beforehand. Test it out once you get your setup and you're trying to create that perfect beast, so to speak. Test your equipment and and make sure that it's ready and that you're ready. And sometimes you need to rehearse. Sometimes you need to rehearse and get yourself ready to get yourself in the zone so that when you go live or you hit that record button, it's a go, you know? And I could talk about the editing process. So, you know, going back to that batch creation, one of the things you can do in batch creation is go through, let's say you recorded three videos in a row. Go through, while they're still fresh in your mind, and carve out all the things that you know you want to get rid of. Go back and just go through one by one and cut up all the things that, like, I'm throwing this out. Uh, there's four bad intros on that first video. Throw those out. Um, I do, I clap my hands whenever I make a mistake so that it's really easy to spot. You'll see the sound wave, and it makes it really easy to spot in the sound wave. Oh, yeah, I messed up right there. So let me, let me go in immediately and scroll, and I, I cut that part out and then go to the next part. And so that's stuff I, like if you yawn, clap your hands, make a mark there that way as well. So you go back and you cut out all the times you yawned in the video. So that type of thing. Or if you... <laughs> burped <laughs> if you burped right in the middle of the video you know go and and clap your hands so there's a definite mark to let you know um yeah so i mean if you have like the, the like the stream deck depending on what software you're using so like an ecamm for example i don't know how to do it in all software but ecamm i can do marks so that when i go back later and get ready to edit i'll see the marks oh there's a mark right there i need to go check and see what's going on there so, yeah, I, I use the clap as my way to say, okay, that's something. I'll see the sound wave jump up, you know, red, um, and that'll tell me I need to go and fix that place right there. So that's that's the kind of stuff I do. Yep, great idea. Wave, wave at the wave kit when I need to cut when recording. Yep, yep, that also works. And, hey, I need to edit right here, you know, because if you're doing, you know, scooting across the video, um, yeah. That's that's a great idea. That's the stuff that I do to make it easier. And so that's just part of my process. So I'll go through my videos and I will cut out all the waste. Your goal as a content creator is to make the video the exact length it needs to be. No more, no less. And so, you know, you just got to go through and, and cut things. Somebody, yeah. So, yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah. Oh, let's see what they got. Uh, Adam, how you doing, sir? Welcome, welcome. 
Run, Adam, run. You made it. I did my editing on this last video using CapCut. Yeah, I like CapCut. I just don't like the captions in CapCut. Cap CapCut gets captions wrong for me. Maybe my uh, accent, maybe I don't enunciate clearly. Something about CapCut, I only get like 80 to 85% accuracy. My end shot that I do on my phone, it's close to 90 to 95% accuracy. Uh, but like, yeah, so... Yeah, CapCut can be loads of fun. It can. I, I, I do like CapCut. I don't like the company that owns it, but that's a different story. Um, But, yeah. So, yeah. I Because I go look at CapCut captions like, where did you get that from? I didn't say anything that resembles that. That doesn't make any sense. So, just crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. I was saying, hey, hello, run out of Yeah, so... That, that is the art of trying to accomplish frictionless content creation. Take away the distractions, make it excuse free. I can sit down, press two buttons, yell at Alexa, and I'm ready to go. Ready to go. It's just that easy. You need to figure out a way to make it that easy for you. Whatever you need to be, you know, if you're, you know, Using your phone or using like a webcam like this to get a little tripod. Hey, yep, I'm ready to go. Let's go. Show off. Let's go. Or uh, maybe you have a, uh, a tripod like this one for your phone and you put your phone in it. Bam, ready to go. My morning thoughts videos. I now have a new mount in the car that holds my phone very well. And so... I have made it frictionless to do my morning thoughts videos in the car because I did that. I know we can go crazy on equipment. It is so easy to go crazy on equipment. Don't go crazy. I have so much stuff that I have bought in different phases of this content creation journey, and I didn't need it. In the end, I found out I didn't need it. If you buy something and you don't use it, sell it. Sell it and take that money and buy something you need. You know, it's better. Don't go in debt. Save your money. And buy the things you need. And sometimes, maybe you got the money saved. You can splurge and get something you want. But if you find out it isn't all you thought it would be, go to eBay or some other place and sell it. You don't need to keep that stuff around. I have... So many different mounts because I tried different things and I have a habit of keeping them because later I do find a use. I am like that. So, Ta -da. hey, Gretchen, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Ta -da. Image by Gretchen, welcome to the live stream. What mount? I'm looking for one for the van. Ah, all right. Well, let's go and hit the Amazons. I bought it on Amazon. Of course, because that's where I buy most things. Uh, order. I, I'm addicted to Amazon, I think. So. This is it. Okay. Ta -da. And it's 6% off. Oh, okay. Hang on. I'll share my screen. Uh, looks like it went up a couple bucks, but all right. I'm going to put an affiliate link. Yes, I may get a penny or two if if you actually use my link and buy something on Amazon, but it doesn't cost you any extra. Uh, but that's it. Let me show Chrome Share. All right, here it is. So this is what I have now. Uh, oop, that's interesting. Oh, okay, here we go. Um, so this is the one I got. And even in the hot temperatures, it has been staying. Uh, so I, I do recommend this. This is great. I bought a, I had bought another I had bought a, another mount previously that everybody swore by. Actually, somebody told me it was a good mount. And but once it got hot, it wouldn't stay. It would stay fine when it was winter, but as soon as summer hit, it like dropped. So I got fed up and I got another one. So this is the one I'm using. 
Now, here's the funny thing. I actually turned this sideways. <laughs> I actually turned this sideways and slide my phone into it so that the rear camera is facing me because I want that 4K. I like 4K because I, it, it's so much easier. If it doesn't turn out great, I can zoom in and, and go 1080. But if I'm at 1080 and I zoom in, I'm at 720. Um, so, but I love this mount. It comes with like, uh, came with a bunch of gadgets, but it also, but it, it came with like alcohol wipes if I wanted to clean the windshield. Um, but I, I really like this one. This is, works very well. It has not dropped once. Knock on wood. Um, and so, like I said, it comes some extra pieces, but I haven't needed any of those. Um, but I like this mount. It's very nice. And like I said, sounds crazy, but I turn it sideways and I put my phone in sideways with the 4K rear cameras pointed at me and away I go. Um, and then also I could use, I use it for GPSing. So I use it to mount the phone in the GPS, the sides snap in. And then if you, there's little side buttons, you push those and it pops out to unrelease, to release it. Um, I, I, you know, I know the world likes vertical video, but I don't. I don't know. So I like everything horizontal. My life has been that way forever. So anyway, so I really like this one. Um, I definitely recommend it. It's been awesome. I do like it. Um, it says the suction cup can work perfectly in all weather, even in melting days, can withstand negative 40 degrees Celsius to 90 degrees Celsius. And for those that do the metric system, you'll just have to tell me what that means. So I know that 88 degrees Celsius would be 55 degrees. Yeah, something like that. But anyway, it would be 55 degrees Fahrenheit or something like that. No, that's not right. Anyway, point being is, I'm one of those dumb Americans who doesn't know the metric system. I'm sorry. I know it's 2.52 centimeters to an inch, and I know medicines come in milliliters and grams and that type of thing. So it's all good, right? <laughs> anyway, that is the amount I currently use, and I am really enjoying it. So good stuff. Uh, da -da -da. I wonder if you use your own... Amazon affiliate links to buy stuff, would you get in trouble? Uh, I tried. It didn't work. I've even tried sending it to my wife, and somehow they know. Probably because it's the same credit card. I don't know. I agree. We talk folks <laughs> We talk folks are, are a vertical enough. We need a bit of horizontal in our lives. I know. You know, I have not gotten used to vertical live streams. Um, I like Mary Lou. I love her live streams, but she's doing them in vertical. And... I'm just not a fan of vertical, but I mean, she's such an engaging person. I watch it anyway, but I'm like, I won't do it that way. So anyway, whoop. and yes, Amazon doesn't like that and it won't qualify. We even got a warning when fam was using our links and it lived many hours away and I don't, and I didn't even know. Well, I give family and friends my links all the time. I've never gotten a warning. That's very interesting. I wonder how that works. All right. Tall folks. Yes. Vertical is for tall folks. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. That's my show for tonight. Thank you for, for those that stuck around to watch the do-over since my audio was not in place. Doggone it. I am so sorry about that, guys. I also was late. I, it's, yeah, I went out to dinner with some friends, and the service was so slow, it took an hour and a half to get our food. I'm like, I had plenty of time plenty of time but it took an hour and a half to get our food and we ordered very simple food so but i was enjoying going hang out with my friends and i rushed home and luckily my setup is frictionless i was able to get it together going very quickly uh but i had two slides i wasn't done on my powerpoint my presentation so i had to go and fix that and so i was a little late getting started yeah always happy to be here thank you amy i really appreciate that yeah, are you guys in the chat talking about Prime Day last week? No, we were just talking specifically about a new mount I'm using in the car for my morning thoughts videos that is doing a great job for me and seems to not care. It gets stinking hot where I live. 
Uh, and so I put it up once and it has remained there. So I am liking it so far, loving it so far, actually. Um, and I was just talking about how I put my phone in sideways and, and use it that way. So, you know, if it got to be a problem where it slid out somehow, because I had turned it a little angle to keep from sliding out, I could probably put a little piece of Velcro to keep it in, but I haven't needed to. It snaps tightly around the camera and around the phone, so it works. Yeah. Pierre, did you get anything cool at Prime Day last week? Just let us know. So, all right. That's it. That's our show for tonight. Thank you so much to everybody that came by. I hope you have an amazing week. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Hopefully, I'm back on track now that I'm back in terra firma, uh, back at home, back in the land where I know where things are. So, anyway. Bye. Have a wonderful night. Later.